As a student taking a course in Moodle, obviously one of the things that you'll have to do is complete assignments. And you'll know when you have an assignment to do is you can always look for this um, hand, looks like it's holding a piece of paper or maybe a book. And the title will often say assignment. In this case, it's, this is a tutorial that we're going to go through to show you how to submit a text online using uh, the built-in text editor. So let's open up this assignment and see what we have to do. So here are the directions for the assignment to add some text, then format it, link to a website, and insert an image. Down here where it says submission status, it tells you that you have, can, you have two attempts to do this. The teacher sets how many attempts, and that this is the first one. You have not submitted it, obviously, and since it's not submitted, there is no grade. So let's start. Let's add a submission. So as you can see, this is where you're going to type in your answer to the assignment up here. Now, sometimes when you click on here, you're just going to see this one Op one bar here of options of, for editing, but this is a little toggle that you can toggle back and forth. Another thing you can do is add more space in the lower right hand corner, drag that. So let's do a, some editing here. Now most of the time you're just going to use the paragraph function here, but every once in a while you want to use a heading. So let's say we just want to title this this is my assignment okay so that's an easy way to do a, a heading and then it go, just goes back to the paragraph so let's just add some text Oops, I misspelled text. And you'll notice that it's underlined in red. Now, Moodle doesn't have an automatic spell checker built into it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So it does check the spelling, and it will underline misspelled words. But what if I don't know how to spell text, and I want to make sure? So what I do is, is I put the cursor on the word that's misspelled, I hold down the control key and I hit the right mouse button. Now let's do that. And I see I have all these options up here and here's the correct spelling for text. Click on that, period. So let's add some more text. So to correct misspelled words, we'll go back and correct that once I'm done. Um, cursor on word, then control, then right click. Okay, so let's go back and do that, misspell this word, put the cursor on it, hold down the control, right click, here's the correct spelling. So that's just a little reminder of how to do that. Alright, so next it says to format text. So let's format this sentence, and let's underline it, and let's change the font family to Georgia and let's change the font size to 14 and let's change the font color font color is right here 
text color let's change it to this red and let's change some background this is the background color I can change that and let's change that to yellow so you can see there's a lot of options here now most of these options you're probably not going to use very often um, we're, we'll do a, another tutorial on equations so there's special characters you can use once in a while and there's another we can do another tutorial on how to add and edit tables uh, we got the find and the replace option this is a good option here paste from word so maybe you go out and create a nice d document in word and then you can just copy and paste it into here and by using this button you get rid of some of the hidden code that Microsoft puts in Word that is not useful in Moodle. And this is a nice function toggle the full screen mode. Let's say you're working on a long uh, assignment here so you can just open the full screen mode and it's just a lot easier to edit that. So next it says to link text to a website so let's say that you've done a report on polar bears and you want to link a website so I highlight the word or words that I want to create a link to then here's the insert link so but first I need to go out and get the URL so I've already chosen a website, this International Polar Bear, and I can go Control C to copy it. Then I go down here and highlight, which I've already done. Click on the link, and then I go Control V to paste it. And then where it says Target, what I want to do is I want it to open it in a new window because that makes navigation easier and you see now it's in um, blue which means that there is a link there next it says to insert an image so to insert an image I go up here to insert image icon this is the emoticons this is uh, insert Moodle media that's that would be sound or videos so we'll do another tutorial on that so but the insert image then it says find or upload an image now if I've already embedded some images and over here I can find them here if I've already used some files they would be here but I haven't yet so over here where it says upload a file I have to so that would be over here I need to choose a file and that file is in my picture library I've already downloaded it it's these polar bear cubs right here double click on that and I can save it as polar bear cubs now the, I did not create that image so I'm going to leave that blank I'm not going to use it and then where, where it says choose a license unless I know what the license is I just leave this as all rights reserved so that the person who created that image has every right to that then just click upload image I see the images in here then I click insert and there's my polar bear cubs now one of the things I might do is is that let's look at this full page it's like that's pretty big I'm gonna make it a little smaller by grabbing the corner once I've done it included it It should be there. Yep, it's there. Okay, then I'm going to submit changes. 
here's my response now I can always go back and edit it so let's say it's the end of the period or this is going to take longer than I thought I just leave it as it is because once I submit it for grading it's I'm saying it's done so I click submit and it asks me again and it says are you you will not be able to make any more changes click continue okay and it's done see up here submitted for grading and I'm done and it looks like I'll probably get an A I can go back to the course